The focus of this module is careers in forestry. While uh, many people typically associate forestry jobs with chainsaws, logging trucks, and firefighting, uh, there's really a vast number of career options and opportunities for individuals with a background in forestry uh, and or natural resources. Within the um, activities in this module, I've included a folder that I ho hope you found already with uh, links to a number of federal and state agency websites, private industry websites, and other uh, job searching sites related to uh, forestry. And hopefully as you, as you browse through these sites and look at some of the various career options available, you, you see what a wide array of options there are for someone uh, with a degree or uh, with experience or background in, in, in forestry. The largest employer of foresters is the federal government. Um, managing 193 million acres of, uh, of public lands takes a lot of manpower and that uh, um, approximately uh, 30,000 um, people work for the Forest Service and, and granted um, these agencies hire uh, individuals with other skill sets as well as just foresters uh, like accountants, uh, IT personnel, human resource personnel, etc. Uh, other federal agencies such as the EPA, the Fish and Wildlife Service, and the National Park Service also hire folks with a forestry background uh, f for the needs um, of those of folks with, their, with those skill sets for those organizations. There are also a number of opportunities with state forestry agencies and these include county forester positions and positions with other state and local offices or branches uh, involved in more local management of, of natural resources. Um, county foresters are typically part of the state's cooperative extension system and are state em uh, agency employees. And many of these state agency positions are actually federally funded through long-running national uh, initiatives or, or policies that were established. Uh, hopefully you remember from Module 1 the Clark McNary Act which was responsible for, for, responsible for establishing a, uh, uh, a uh, extension system to engage private landowners in management of forest resources on their lands. <coughs> Today many mu municipalities have positions open for urban foresters uh, and sometimes the, the actual position openings are, are for arborists but mainly to manage trees and uh, uh, wild areas in town parks and recreational areas uh, to help deal with downed tree removal after storm events to deal with pest outbreaks um, or to choose desirable species for public projects and be engaged in the planning process for greenways bike trails and other uh, recreational areas within municipalities Private industry, which includes sawmills and lumber mills, all the way up to uh, multinational corporate entities such as International Paper, Weyerhaeuser, and Georgia uh, Pacific. Uh, sometimes private industry might get bad press uh, due to uh, e ecological impacts of their practices, but for the most part, they have their act together and, and invest a lot of money when it comes to research and state-of-the-art timber management, as well as their productivity in greenhouse operations. Uh, poor land management is actually bad business, so while sometimes the ecological integrity of some of the areas that private industry manages may come under some fire from environmentalists and other public groups, uh, their forest management practices are typically very sound and very well respected in the field of forestry. There's also lots of, uh, lots of jobs available with these, uh, with companies in private industry. Consultant foresters work with private landowners to prepare management plans, assist with timber sales, and provide landowners with other management strategies based on the individual goals of the landowners. Uh, many of these consultants are certified foresters who have bachelor's degrees in forestry and have passed a, a state licensing test or requirement to receive uh, certification. And these types of consultants sometimes work hand in hand with uh, with agency personnel to provide private landowners uh, services on on land or on their own land. Other employers of foresters or folks with forestry backgrounds include the forest products industry and this industry typically hires a lot of chemists and industrial engineers. Uh, universities hire uh, folks interested in research in policy studies, economics, and teaching. And uh, another uh, employer on the international side of things is the Peace Corps. Uh, 
and this is where yours truly uh, received his first real world uh, forestry experience working with small scale landowners in rural Paraguay actually doing agroforestry. Uh, and actually anyone interested in a career in environmental work should, si uh, should think seriously about the Peace Corps as a, an entry level or platform position, uh, not just for forestry but any international career. You gain uh, uh, definitely the foreign language skills that you gain in the Peace Corps uh, are well respected by any employer. The expected skill requirements of entry level foresters um, are kind of what one would think about uh, or the requirements that you would you would really think about having anyway, um, knowing how to how to uh, take an inventory of timber on an area to estimate profit, um, and you can really see the main skills that you have uh, coming out of sco uh, school or being able to do these things, understanding uh, how to harvest trees, making re uh, recommendations on uh, tree rotations, recognizing disease uh, and insects that are affecting stands of trees, and also giving wildlife management recommendations. Here's a flowchart illustrating kind of the progression of skill sets that one acquires or needs as they progress through a career in the natural resources or forestry. Well, the first level is having a base of technical skills that are primarily used in the field to gather data, to estimate yields, collect samples, uh, being on the ground a whole lot more. And after you've kind of proven your savvy or skills in the field, you progressively become more involved in the management side of things on larger scale projects, uh, bigger picture issues, compiling reports. Uh, and that is followed typically by the natural progression into managing staff that are doing the same things that you once did uh, at a technician level or at a lower level. Uh, managing budgets, setting the priorities for projects, uh, taking accountability, conflict uh, resolution and administration. <clears throat> Some typical entry level jobs for foresters uh, either in private industry or with with a lot of the agencies include timber cruising and appraisal and inventory working on a fire crew a lot of uh, foresters get their start on firefighting crews marking timber uh, helping out with the harvest of trees learning how to uh, delim and buck trees uh, and and use equipment also uh, measuring trees on the uh, on the lot in the logging yard um, to measure volume inspect stands for wood quality and disease, uh, managing a, a crew or being on a crew for planting trees after, um, after a harvest, in, as in reforestation. <clears throat> and here are a few of the careers that folks with a forestry background can end up pursuing beyond those entry-level positions. Uh, as you see, most of these do go beyond toting a chainsaw or putting out fires. Uh, wildlife biologists typically have backgrounds in forestry. Uh, Law enforcement officers, uh, officers, your game wardens, uh, your park rangers. Besides a law enforcement background, they also need to have some type of background or skills in uh, in the natural resources. So these are uh, a few of the careers. Um, there are a wide number available, and hopefully throughout this module, you've picked up some of that.